It is an honor to have been asked to welcome everyone to Past to Present, Queer Identity at Swarthmore. I'm Richard Sager, class of 74. Thank you for coming. I'm honored and humbled that the Sager Fund is able to present this event. Today, as we celebrate the silver anniversary of the Intercultural Center, we honor the intersections of activism and identity in the last 25 years of queer history. When I was a student here, there was virtually no LGBTQ presence on campus. We didn't even have the term LGBTQ. Any meetings happened off campus. The only note, note is scrawled on an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper on a bulletin board in a corner of Parrish. Nobody I knew ever attended them, but then nobody I knew was out, nor was I. And if I were, there was no clear way to explore this component of my identity, much less a way to explore the intersection with any other parts of my identity. Too bad there was no intercultural center then. I could have used it. And I would be remiss not to give my heartfelt thanks to my friend Jim Hormel and to Michael Wynn for funding the IC's new home. Swarthmore developed in me the empathy for different perspectives and the methodology for creative problem solving. I'm sure it was at least in part that formative work that led me to find ways to be an activist and an advocate. When I was diagnosed with HIV five years before there was even an IC, it was important to me that I leave a legacy of advocacy and equality for LGBT people. And I understand then and still understand today that to advocate for LGBT people is to advocate for all marginalized people. My plan for the Sager Fund, by the way, was originally intended to create something lasting after my death. I'm grateful, however, to be around to enjoy the fruits of that legacy today while, as far as I can determine, I'm very much alive. Today at the IC, we celebrate the voices of people from multiple backgrounds, generations, orientations, and cultures. While I wish I could join you in person today, know how glad I am to see a continuation of the exploration and freedom to be ourselves. Let's take time to honor our shared history as LGBT Swarthmoreans and the actions of those who have made our story visible. Let's look forward. These tasks will never be complete. I have confidence in the next generation of activists, storytellers, and trailblazers. My friends, I have confidence in you, and I am proud to continue to support your efforts through the Sager Fund. Thanks.